One more thing to talk about with git push is the dash u option, which you've likely seen uh, when you create a new branch, for ex or a branch, when you create a new repository, which I won't actually, well, I guess I kind of have to if I want to show you. Eh, okay, I'll delete this one. But if I make a new repository, the instructions GitHub gives me, both of them end with this line, git push something, but with a dash u. So what is this dash u option? Well, it stands for upstream, which probably doesn't mean a lot. Uh, the upstream of a branch, a local branch, is kind of like, uh, think of it as a connection pointing to a remote branch. So if we have our master branch on our local machine, normally we want the upstream branch to be origin master or some master branch on GitHub. Uh, they are connected. And this enables me to do things like just run git push without having to specify origin master. And if I've configured the upstream for my master branch, then I get to use this shortcut. So there are other situations where this comes up as well, like with polling, when we talk about that. Uh, but again, it's not something that we have to do in order to push, but it's recommended uh, because it can make your life easier. So when we run this git push dash u origin master, this tells git that on my computer, locally in my repo, I want to push up the master branch to origin master. And I want you to remember that. I want you to recall in the future that my master branch on my computer is connected to the master branch on origin. So if I do this right now, um, let's see, if I make a new branch on this example we were doing, let's make a new branch called uh, dogs. All right, so this branch right now does not exist on GitHub. Um, if I push it up, git push origin dogs, you can see it's not here, but it will make a new dogs branch on GitHub. There it is. Okay. But I did not set the upstream, right? Uh, I did not use that dash u option, but that's okay. If I want to push up again, whatever I have on this dogs branch, let's make a change. Let's make a new file dogs.txt, git add dogs, git commit, just an empty file, create dogs. If I want to push that up, I have to do git push origin dogs. That's totally fine. It's not a big deal. But normally I want my dogs branch to be connected to the GitHub dogs branch, right? I want this connection right here. Dogs pointing to dogs. My local dogs branch connected to the uh, GitHub dogs branch on origin. That's standard. In the previous video, I showed you that you can push from one branch to something with a different name, but normally we want them connected. And if I use this dash u, that will enable it to happen. But before that, if I just try git push, you'll see uh, it fails. It says the current branch does not have, or current branch dogs has no upstream branch. So here's one way to do this, dash dash set upstream, or we just use dash u, which is equivalent. So I'm gonna do that now. Git push dash u, origin dogs. So remember, if we don't use this weird colon syntax that I showed you in the previous video, Git is going to take our local dogs branch and push it up to the origin dogs branch. It uses the same name. And this dash u says, I want you to remember that. Set the upstream for dogs to be origin dogs. And now it shows me this line right here, branch dogs set up to track remote branch dogs from origin. So now if I make a change, uh, let's just make a new file, touch more dogs, git add more dogs, git commit, create more dogs. If I do just git push and nothing else, now we have an upstream set and it knows for this dogs branch that I'm on what that upstream is. And it pushes up to my GitHub dogs branch. And we see more dogs showing up here. So that's the use case for dash u. Uh, normally you'll use it in this context, but you could use it in a situation like this, if you wanted to set the upstream to be something other than the remote branch of the same name. In other words, um, if I wanted to set, I'm not gonna do this, but if I wanted to set uh, the dogs branch locally, I wanted to push that up to the cats branch and set that upstream, I can. So if I ran this, not only would it push my dogs branch from my machine up to the remote cats branch on GitHub, it would also say in the future, 
This dog's branch should have an upstream referring to the origin cat's branch. Normally you don't want that. And also it can be a headache and I don't recommend you try this stuff. Uh, you'll run into like merging issues. If you're pushing from multiple branches to the same remote branch, the cat's branch, it's just, you don't want to do it. Anyway, uh, it's possible, but normally you'll use it in this context. The very first time you push some branch up, use that dash U and the local branch of that name will have its upstream set to the origin branch of that name or whatever this remote is called. All right.